Hi guys, today we'll show you how to sync picture to beat in the picture in picture mode. If you want to create a similar effect, then you don't want to miss today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. Start a software. Create a new project. First, we import the pictures and the music we have prepared. Drag and drop the music onto the audio track. Adjust the duration directly with your mouse. Then, we play the music. Meanwhile, we use this button to put markers in the right places. This will make it easier for us to quickly align the music bit to specific frames when editing. Then, go to the top of the preview window. Find the Show Runners icon. Click on it to open the guides. We can see now the maximum horizontal value is 1900. And we want to divide the canvas into 5 equal parts. That's like dividing the canvas into 380 intervals. Click on the Add Vertical Guide icon. Draw 4 guides in the canvas. Once we are done, we drag the picture into video track. Similar to drawing the guidelines, since we want to divide the image into 5 equal parts, we click on the crop icon in the toolbar. Here, you can see the Y, and we should change your value to 384 once we divide it into 5 equal parts. Now, we have the cropped effect. Then adjust the box to the far left side of the screen. Click Apply to apply the adjustment. Let's go ahead and click on the Show or High Layer Rectangle to bring it ahead of the first guideline. This gives us a first split screen image on the screen. Click on this icon when finished. Add a few more overlay tracks. Then use the shortcut Ctrl C to copy it and then use Ctrl V to paste it on the different overlay tracks based on the number of splits you want. Then we'll select the image again. Click on the crop icon. We will find here all we need is to adjust the position of the box to the right. And other than that, we don't have to do other additional change. Click Apply to return to the main interface and then adjust the position based on the guideline. This will create a second split screen. Let's quickly finish the rest of the editing. Now we have the desired split screen. We'll do the rest of the material in the same way. When we are done, find the eye icon at the top of the preview window. Click on it to hide the guide. Finally, adjust the duration of different split screen image based on the markers in sequence to ensure that they get switched at the proper time. Now, the effect of the image to big sync added in split screen mode is created. Let's add the flash effect for the split screen switch. You can quickly locate the point of the switch based on the marker. Then move the playhead to here. Click this button to move forward two frames. And then click on the split tool to cut out those two frames. The last thing we need to do is to edit it. Find the color and filter error in inspector at the top right. Drag the slider to increase the exposure. Preview it. 
now have a flash switch effect. Next, let's continue to complete the flash effect for the last switch points. And of course, if you lead, you can also add a text effect to your video to make them better. Adjust its duration to align with the music. Then, go to the inspector and add the text content. Choose a preferred font. Adjust the size of the text. Scroll down and tweak more parameters. Don't forget to use your graphic acumen here to adjust its position in the frame. When you are done, find the plus icon in the far left of the subtitle track. Click on it to add a new track. Copy the text you just added and paste it on the new subtitle track. Now, we only need to modify the text content and font. and adjust the size and placement of the text. This will give us a richer and a more textured image. Well, this is all of today's video. And if you want to know more about other add and tricks or what has been going on with VideoPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.